Hey, what's going on? I hope you're doing well and safe. My name is Ryan and you're watching Stack Talk. In this episode, I would like to talk about HTTP Date. HTTP Date is a daemon for time synchronization. A daemon spelled as D-A-E-M-O-N is not what you might think it is. Rather, it's a software program or process that runs in the background. HTTP Date makes use of HTTP Time Protocol hence the name HTTP, to synchronize a computer's time with web servers as reference time source. You might be wondering why would anybody need another time protocol when NTP is already great? A simple answer is you don't, unless you don't have access to a NTP server because you're behind a firewall and or proxy server. This program can be used instead of NTP date or similar in networks that has a firewall blocking the NTP port. HTTP date might be useful in some situations, for example in my case where I've been working on Raspberry Pi Zero W project that requires it to run certain scripts at certain times of the day depending on the day of the week. For that I have decided to use cron job scheduler. The only problem is, however, even with the fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS, the date and time is not synchronizing with the present date and time as expected. It got even more confusing for me that even after updating my locale and time zone in Raspberry Config, the date and time is still not synchronizing as it is still not synchronizing as it should. So I thought that the network might be blocking the NTP port, and it turns out that I was right. The company has set up a firewall blocking the set port and no matter what type of connection I try, for example either through Wi-Fi or wired connection, my Raspberry Pi's date and time is always out of sync and I have to manually set it with the command date-s, code and code, year, month, date, hour, minutes and seconds and I have to do that every time I turn off the Raspberry Pi. That is because without a built-in real-time clock, the Raspberry Pi cannot keep track of the date and time. With a little bit of searching though, I found a good solution to my problem and that is none other than HTTP date. So let me just show you how I installed HTTP date on my Raspberry Pi. I'm currently on my Ubuntu laptop and I'm going to open up a terminal and connect to my Raspberry Pi via SSH. So I'm going to type ssh pi at raspberry pi dot local to connect to my raspberry pi and then hit return. It's going to ask me for the password and I'm going to enter the default password which is raspberry. Now that I'm connected to my raspberry pi I'm going to do an update and then install HTTP date. To do that in one line of command, I can do sudo apt update and ampersand ampersand sudo apt install dash y HTTP date. We're going to wait for it to finish and I'll get back to you as soon as it's finished installing. Now that I have installed HTTP date, I can now use it to update the date and time with sudo HTTP date dash a google dot com. It doesn't have it doesn't always have to be google dot com though. It can be any other website, so sudo HTTP date dash a raspberry pi dot org will work as well. Now it says no time correction needed. That is because I'm home right now and my network doesn't block the NTP port. However, when I'm at my workplace, I have to run HTTP date every time I unplug the Raspberry Pi to keep the date and time synchronized. Otherwise, I run into the risk of having my cron 
jobs not executing the scripts as scheduled. The problem that I usually get after installing HTTP date is that sometimes time is not being updated with an output saying time change failed. I'm going to try and rerun the command. Uh, it's not showing up right now, but the reason for that is that HTTP daemon is already running in the background. So stopping the daemon with sudo etc slash init HTTP date stop might help. You can then now run sudo HTTP date dash a raspberry pi dot org to update the time and restart the daemon with sudo slash etsy slash init dot date slash http date start to complete the process so that's http date it synchronizes your computer's time using the timestamps from http headers found in web server's response making use of the head method to get the information so that's it for this video i hope you learned about http date and find this tool useful as an alternative to ntp date if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so that you'll always be updated when a new video comes out until then have a bashful day my name is ryan and i'll see you in my next video